In this video, we'll move on to the multiplication and division of algebraic fractions. And here we have three fractions which we'll multiply and divide with one another. So in multiplying algebraic fractions, we do not need to multiply numerators of one another, and we do not need to multiply denominators of one another. This will simply create longer algebraic strings or expressions which are complicated and difficult to work with. What we rather want to do is see whether or not we can rewrite every fraction in a simpler format, and we will use factorization to do that. So in our first fraction, in the numerator, we have 10x plus 5. And I notice that the greatest common factor would be 5. And that leads me to 2x plus 1 as my bracket. In the denominator, I have 2x squared minus x minus 3. Now, this is a trinomial which we can factorize. And if you forgot how to factorize trinomials, please go watch our video on how to factorize. But when you factorize this trinomial, it will lead to 2x minus 3 times x plus 1. Now, I have completely factorized the numerator and denominator in our first fraction. Notice there are not any fractions that we can cancel out. So let's move on to our second fraction. So in our second algebraic fraction, I can take out a 2 as the greatest common factor in our numerator. But before I do that, I notice that this bracket of 3 minus 2x looks very similar to 2x minus 3. So I'm asking myself, how can I write 3 minus 2x to be 2x minus 3. And I notice that it will be better for me to take out a negative 2. That will lead to a bracket of 2x minus 3. Because when I multiply out, I have negative 2 times 2x, which is negative 4, and negative 2 times negative 3, which is positive 6. Moving on to the denominator, Again, I can take out a greatest common factor of 5. So if I take out 5, I'm left with 4x squared plus 4x plus 1. And I close the bracket. Now I'll move on to my third fraction. And notice that we are dividing the other two fractions with the third fraction. So we will apply a method called tips and times. What it means is that we will change the division to multiplication and that we will tip the fraction meaning we will write it as its reciprocal or the numerator as the denominator and the denominator as the numerator so when i do that i have multiplied by 2x squared plus 3x plus 1 over 2 plus 4x now, if you're comfortable, you can already apply factorization as you are doing that step. But for the purpose of this video, we are keeping it quite simple and going step by step. So before I factorize my third algebraic fraction, let me inspect what happened here so far. I notice that there's a 5 in my first fraction that will cancel out to 5 in my second fraction. I also notice there is a set of brackets, which is 2x minus 3, which will cancel one another out. So that will lead to a simplified first fraction of 2x plus 1 over x plus 1. In my second fraction, I have negative 2 because this bracket has been cancelled out. And I notice that I'm left with 4x squared plus 4x plus 1 in the denominator. And I can also factorize that trinomial. So that will lead to 2x plus 1 times 2x plus 1. Now I move on to my third algebraic fraction. And here we have a trinomial again. And when I factorize, I have 2x plus 1 times x plus 1 over two terms where I can take out a greatest common factor. And the greatest common factor is 2. So my bracket will also be 2x plus 1. So before I move on, 
I would inspect the three fractions together again. And I noticed that 2x plus 1 can cancel out 2x plus 1 in the denominator. And 2x plus 1 next to it can also cancel out 2x plus 1 in the third fraction. Also, x plus 1 in the third fraction will cancel out x plus 1 in the first fraction. So when I simplify, I have negative 2 over 2 times 2x plus 1. And negative 2 divided by 2 would lead to negative 1 over 2x plus 1. And that is, and that is my final answer.